Hello everybody, Sleeve McQueen here, also known as Monica. I'm using the built-in webcam on the laptop because I've tried to make this video four times now and my really nice HD webcam, something's going wonky so we're getting the bad, this is bad everything. Bad me, bad hair, bad webcam, the lighting's alright I guess. So, number one. I'm supposed to be uploading an amazing video of myself, Betty Lou Who. I'm looking in the wrong camera, I just realized. <laughs> and Kim can't do it from our glorious meeting today. But the meeting didn't happen because I got sick. I started feeling like I was having a head cold slash sinus infection last night. So I told them and we discussed it and it was decided that we would postpone because nobody wants to catch what I have and I couldn't imagine getting Kim sick, you know, like three weeks before her surgery date. That didn't seem quite fair. Four weeks, I guess. Because, um, you know, there's an incubation time between the time she would get my germs and then she would have symptoms and that's going to be like in her liquid diet phase and they might, if it, you know, if she got sicker or it turned into something nasty, she wouldn't have, to, she wouldn't be able to have her surgery. <clears throat> and I couldn't do that. We talked about surgical masks and not hugging and, you know, but it was a good decision because this morning I woke up and I was more sick and other people in the house that now have symptoms. There's coughing and sneezing and grossness all over this house. So it was a, it was a wise decision, but it was a made me be a crybaby. I didn't want that decision to happen. And I feel really bad about being the person that caused our long longed for meeting to not happen. But we're going to reschedule and it is going to be super fun when it happens and everybody's healthy. Okay. The second thing is I was not smart enough to bring here we go. A new box of tissues in here and I'm starting to drip. Sorry. I got my Vix on. I'll waft it. <sighs> Vix. <coughs> I made the cat freak out. Okay. Number two. I my starting weight was 406.5 pounds measured at the surgeon's office on August 20 whatever 20 hang on 29th my last recorded weight at the nutritionist's office same office same scale was um 383.6 which is a 23 pound loss which is great but in the last two weeks since that visit by my scale I've lost another 10 pounds. Um, I seem to have found the right combination to my fat burning luck. I am eating the right number of calories, protein, fat, carbs. Those are the three things, four things I'm tracking. Um, my nutritionist had me up my carbs and my um, lower my fats a little bit. And I don't know if that's what's doing it or the... Um, excessive amount of water that I'm drinking. I'm also getting more protein from food than protein shakes. Any of those things could be doing it. My body is like a furnace right now and that's fabulous. It's weird because I have not been able to exercise. I'm not saying don't exercise. I'm just saying I'm surprised that my body is continuing to drop the weight without me being able to exercise. I don't think that's part of the equation. Uh, imagine if I was exercising, right? <clears throat> so, um, seeing that weight on the scale this morning, 373.6, I was like, when was the last time I was that light? And then I thought, wait a second, I used to be a member of Spark People, which is uh, sparkpeople.com. It's a weight loss community. It has forums, recipes, articles weight trackers, exercise videos, suggestions, lots of community support, you can keep a blog. It's a great website, it just wasn't for me. I don't know why I didn't like it, honestly. Um, but it's it's got so many resources. You don't need YouTube or Facebook if you go there. And I found uh, my old account. I managed to find the password. I had to keep trying all the passwords I can remember. <clears throat> 
So I used that from January of 2011 through September of 2012. And the first thing that made me sad was I don't remember being over 400 pounds for that long. I thought it was more of a, a recent occurrence, maybe last year, maybe two years. No, in February of 2011, I got the little grid here of my weigh-in. In February of 2011, I was 402. Uh, I don't remember being this big for that long. And then through April of that year, I got down to 379. Go me. Uh, and then I, there's no logins for until August. Uh, I'm sorry, till July. And then July, I'm back up to 395. You, you. Um, then I didn't log in again. I must have, I don't know what, why. I didn't log in again until the next year, a full year later. My first login there. Uh, in August was 361 so I had come down in weight and I know that's the time that I was doing a modified couch to 5k with my kids here in the house and we had a, I had a, a notebook and I had a schedule and we were doing weights every other day and we were doing cardio every other day and we were going at it hard and that uh, ended up injury I ended up injuring myself and that was the end of that attempt but I got down to 354 my last login had spark people was 354 pounds and um, and then I hurt myself and I know the weight went back up again and it never went down again that's the lowest weight that I would have been in the last uh, four years I suppose so that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at less than 354. 353 is 20 pounds away. And when I get below that, when I get to 353 and I know that it's the lightest that I've been in four years, that's going to be weird. It's going to feel great, but it's going to be weird. I'm going to also ask my doctor's office if maybe they can do a printout for me of all of my um, my weights so I can kind of see where I am. I was on the Facebook chat with Betty Lou Who when I was looking this up and she said, look, you look how many years you've erased, you know, to get to get as far down as I am now. It's like two years er erased. And when I get under uh, 353. Well, that's going to be crazy. And that's something that's changed for me lately, is I'm not saying if anymore. I'm saying when. Sorry. Not if I get, pardon me, not if I get under 353, but when. Walter made that video recently about how to be a, a pre-op, pre-oppers guide to the galaxy and the mindset that you have to have in order to be successful and I think having the surgery as my goal right now my goal is not to be to get to a hundred and whatever pounds my goal is to get to surgery and I know that to get to surgery I have to do X Y and Z and I know to be the healthiest I could possibly be for the surgical process I need to drop as much weight as I can um, and I think that's what's got me motivated is there's a solid goal. There's not a if, there's a win. And I keep visualizing that and it's not an abstract concept. It's a physical thing. I've been to the surgeon's office. I've seen his hands that will do the surgery on me. I've talked to the nutritionist. I, um, I have physical things that I can touch that make this real. And Sorry, my throat's really starting to bother me, I think, from all the talking. Um, and I just decided that this was real, and this is going to happen, and nothing can stop it. And I don't mean, like, in a crazy way. I just mean it. it I'm just choosing to believe that this is inevitable. This is just the natural progression of my 41st year on this planet. This is how things are meant to be right now, and I have, life has phases. I had my young mommy phase, I had my married phase, my divorced phase, my homeowner phase, um, 
my fat girl phase and now I have my weight loss phase and this feels like it feels right like this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now and I don't know if that I feel like that's because I made a conscious decision that this is what was gonna happen right now so um, I don't know why I felt compelled to do an update when I was sick Probably because I know some of you guys might be looking for a video of me and uh, and Betty and Kim, and I don't want to let you guys down or have you going, what the hell? Where's the video? You're leaving us hanging. I'm not trying to leave you hanging. It just didn't happen. But trust me, when it does happen, it's going to be a big shebang, a hoorah, if you will, a hootenanny. Okay, I'm gonna go and drink some more hot beverage and probably go to bed early. But I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and leave me some comments um, about what you're doing to make this a reality in your mind. How are you convincing yourself that this is what's supposed to be happening right now? Especially you pre oppers your self-talk, what self-talk are you doing inside your head where you're saying, I can, I will, I should... Because um, you got to talk positive inside your head. You absolutely have to speak to yourself in an encouraging way like you would a child or a family member or a homeless person on the street or, or whomever. That someone that you wanted to encourage, use that same language as you speak to yourself in your mind. Okay. I could do a whole video on that, but since I'm not an expert, I, I probably won't. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. I will talk to you soon. I'm not sure what that was. Now I'm cheesy. It's a cold medicine talking. Bye.